Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. I decided to make a marble machine inspired by the videos of Denha. If you don't know his channel, I highly recommend that you visit it. He has wonderful machines in his channel. The link is on the video description. For this first video, I made the elevator mechanism. It is relatively simple. It is based on this spring or spiral and two guiding rails. The steel ball rests between the spiral and the rails and the spiral is connected to a gear motor for slow speed and when the spiral turns it makes the ball go up along with the rails. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. For the spiral, I used magnet wire. This is gauge 8, I think. You can use any kind of wire, but magnet wire, since it is made of copper, it has the advantage that you can bend it easily. So, the spiral is made of this wire. I used winded in a PVC tube and once in your tube, you can pull it or push it in order to get the right distance. This distance must be approximately the same diameter of the balls. It can be larger, but not smaller. Later, we will see why is that. And the length, the total length, depends, of course, on the height that you want in your lifter. The spiral is attached to a wooden cylinder and this in turn to the axis of a gear motor for a slow movement. Well, the motor is glued in the middle of two pieces of wood and the axis of the motor to the wood cylinder, which in turn is glued to the spiral. At the top of the spiral we also have a piece of wood with a hole in the center. So this goes here in this little box. And I have this piece of wire. This part here is inserted in the hole and this goes into the wood. It is to prevent the lateral movement of the spiral. Now, in order for the ball to clean the spiral, we need a pair of parallel wires that will go in this position so that the ball will go between the spiral and the parallel wires and when it rotates, the ball will start to clean up. The wires are on this wooden base that have a groove here so that the ball can go into position.
Okay, I glued the two rails and added this little wire that pushes the ball when it's at the top. So it is now ready. Let's see it working. Okay, that's all for this video. The machine is not finished. I still need to add the mechanism for returning the steel balls to the initial point. But that will be made in a forthcoming video. I hope you liked this machine. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next video.